Hello, and welcome to a three-part series on getting started with Move-In. I am Tyler Weaver, and in this series, I'm going to walk you through a set of three tutorials to build your first project with Move-In. Um, these are new tutorials that I wrote that currently target rolling, but will target humble. Um, to get there, you need to go to this website, moveit.picnic.ai, um, and it'll take you to this homepage, which is actually the galactic version. It doesn't have these tutorials. We'll switch to the main version, which is rolling, and soon this, this will all be available on Humble as we release Humble. First thing you have to do is go to this Getting Started page. This Getting Started page walks you through um, setting up your workspace and uh, building the tutorials. I'm not going to do this in this tutorial. I've already done it. It's already set up. Um, but follow these instructions. It should work well for you. At the end of this, there is this tutorial on using Arviz and interacting with the motion planning plugin in Arviz. Um, this is something that's been here for a long time, but you should walk through this first uh, before going on. Now I'm going to get you into the meat of what you came here to see. The, um, the first of them, creating your first move project. So, prerequisites. You've already done getting started. You already uh, have followed some of the official tutorials, so some of this stuff will look really familiar to you because it's, it's ROS code. Um, the first thing we're going to do is create our package. So it says to open a terminal and source your ROS2 installation. ROS2 commands will work. Uh, I'm going to do that by switching over to my terminal here. And um, there, I sourced rolling. The next thing I'm going to do is change to the um, source directory where we put our code and run this command. You can click on this to copy it. Um, I'm going to paste that. And it just created this new folder called hello move it. Um, you can see it there at the top. We'll open in our editor. Um, I'm going to move our editor over to a different window, and we'll go look at that later. Um, so, this next thing it talks about is like what this command did. It set up your basic ROS package using a ment cmake, and created a hello move it um, node. The first thing we need to do is create a ROS node and executor. So I'm going to copy this code right here, and then we'll. I'll paste it in here and we'll go talk through it. Um, go to source, hello, move it. Um, so, the first and most important thing here, or just the beginning, is we got to include RCLCPP, that's the uh, Rust client library for C. And then the second thing is we need this move group interface for move group, and that's how we're going to interact with. Move it. Um, move it has this node that's called move group that contains a lot of the s different behaviors that move it can do and the planning and executing. And uh, move group interface is a C class that uh, contains ROS interfaces, but you can call it, uh, those ROS interfaces essentially with function calls or uh, method calls on the move group interface. Uh, we need to initialize a node or initialize RCLCPP first with the argc and rv values that are passed in. Then we got to create a node. Um, note we have to do this automatically declare parameters from overrides. This is because uh, of how move it uses parameters. Just copy and paste it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the next thing we do is create a logger. Uh, a logger is just a namespace in the logging. It helps when filtering logs if you're looking for specific logs to this program. Um, the next steps are going to go here, but first I'm going to point out that there's this RCLCPP shutdown. It's sort of a, a finally method that cleans up a bunch of the stuff that got created during init. So that's that's all we need for now. Let's uh, let's go back and get some more code. Um, oh, it's going to talk us through building it. Um, I can show you that we can build it. Come over here. Uh, I'm going to build with C cache, um, but this will build. Should build fairly quickly. Um, we're waiting on this. There, there it goes. All right. So um, if we were to run it, uh, it'll run and exit without error. 
I can show you that. Uh, we need to source the install here. Um, yeah, it doesn't do anything right now. It just runs and exits. Um, all right. Uh, this talks through through the code a little bit more. Uh, what we did. The next thing we got to do is we got to we got to plan and execute using the move group node. This is the core of the tutorial, so I'm gonna copy that um, and I'm gonna paste it where it says next steps goes here. Because of an issue with indenting, this is indented. We'll fix that. Um, so we create this thing called move group interface. Uh, there, this is a using statement, so we don't have to type out all that. But anyway, that's all this is. Uh, we create this thing called new group interface. Uh, the panda arm, that's the group of joints, the move group uh, that we're going to plan and execute with. Uh, it's the seven joints of the arm in, in the robot description. Next thing we do is we create a target pose. You'll notice this... Um, this technique here that may be new to you, uh, you'll see it in a lot of modern C++ and what it does is it allows us to, it's a inline, uh, uh, in place executed lambda initializing as many i's as you want lambda expression. Um, that Those parentheses there say so like create this lambda and then immediately execute it and then the result, which is this message that we created, we put in this target pose. Um, one of the big advantages to doing this is that this target pose can be const. Um, there's no constructor right now um, for any messages, and that's because C++ doesn't have um, like named parameters, and so if you were to change the order of these or whatever, the implicit parameter that we constructed might um, might be confusing to people, and so this this is a more declarative or explicit way to create messages. Um, the orientation is a quaternion. All the other values in the quaternion, the x, y, and z, are set to zero, uh, initialized to zero. So we don't have to initialize those, but we do have to initialize this one to one to get a unit quaternion. And then um, these are, this is x, y, and z position. Everything is in meters, SI units, um, by default. Um, and then we set a target pose. So this is this target pose is the position for the end effector, uh, the next uh, that we want it to plan to. And by default, when it starts up, the like starting pose is the position of the robot is in. Um, and then we ask it to plan. Here's another one of these um, immediately invoked lambda expressions. And in this case, we're using structured binding to separate this success and plan variable. Um, the plan is a message that is going to be populated. It has a trajectory and other details in it. Um, you, it's, it's gotten through a service interface. Move it will plan for you and then give you back this thing. Uh, this thing uh, returns a type that can be cast to bool to tell you whether we succeeded or not. So I store it in this OK variable. And then we make a pair of OK and message, which get put into the success and plan. And then if the plan succeeded, then I can ask move group interface to plan all right, to execute that plan, which will move the robot. If it not, if it didn't, here's um, a logging statement that will log telling us that the plan failed, um, and finally that we shut down. So that's the whole program. Let's go build it. Um, so here we are. We're building. Um, the note we're going to use the uh, demo.launch.py from. Uh, that you, you may have seen before. It contains all the stuff to start move group and RViz and all the rest of that. So uh, this is finished. Um, so I need to source the install and I need a separate terminal actually um, because, and the reason for the second terminal, here I'm, I'm trying to resize my windows a little bit. The reason for the second terminal is I have to run the demo separately, um, the demo not launch separately. So. Uh, all right. Um, so here's the demo at launch. We're launching Arviz. Um, okay. Arviz went here. I'm gonna move Arviz's display uh, over to a new window. Um, let's see where did it go? It went. It went over here. Uh, All right, 
so here's here's our viz. Um, I'm gonna make some terminal windows because of uh, the resolution of my screen to make it a little easier to see all of our viz. Uh, one thing about these tutorials is we can leave ours as running for the entirety of, of, of writing these once we get it up and going because our, our program is separate and it interacts with it, um, but isn't the same. Uh, so, there, let me... There. Alright, so here is Arvis. Arvis is up. Uh, we're good to go. Uh, the next thing I want to do is run our program. So ROS to run, we're going to run our program and then I'll switch over to Arvis to show you what it does. Um, and there we go. It is uh, planning and if I turn off, I'll turn off the motion planning plugin because we're not really using that. But yeah, there, we plan to oppose, we moved. Uh, this is the end of the first of the three tutorials. Um, I welcome you to watch the rest of them with me. Thank you.